three months ago, I sat in the same seat with the same Seder plate as the rabbis and I created videos for our congregation for Passover. Now I am holding the Seder plate again, very purposefully, as it is almost July 4th. And I'm thinking of an incredible article written three years ago in 2017 on July 2nd by Alan Burdick and Eliza Bayard, who suggested that what we need for Passover, excuse me, what we need for the 4th of July is like Passover, a Seder. You can read the entirety of their article, which I think is very meaningful. And in fact, I'll be speaking more about it tomorrow night, Friday night, July 3rd, 2020, as I expand upon their suggestion. But at this moment, I wanna suggest that we ask each of ourselves, what is it about Passover that we can take with us to the 4th of July? We enjoy getting together, but we also have some serious conversations about our role and the responsibility of making freedom realized in our country. And also perhaps what are the symbols that we could put on a proverbial Seder plate for the 4th of July to symbolize what it is that we yearn for once again in our country. This is an unusual time vis-a-vis -vis coronavirus, but it's not necessarily, unfortunately, an unusual time vis-a-vis -vis the struggle for real freedom in our country, in particular amongst the black population. And so it is incumbent upon us as Jews to ask ourselves what role we have to play what responsibility we have at this time. And of course, we begin by being reflective, inquisitive, and serious about freedom in our lives. Happy 4th of July, but contemplative 4th of July as well.